Well hello there everyone and welcome to today's video brought to you by Wonders GTA Gaming covering all Jurassic World Evolution mods and Jurassic World Evolution 2 news. So if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button down below. My one pair video right at the beginning, lovely. In this one today we are covering the ultimate definitive modding guide for Jurassic World Evolution um, for PC. This will cover the Steam version and the Epic version. Um, yeah, in this one today we're going to be doing Expanded Parks, Ultimate Mixed Eras, the latest version, Enhanced Terrain Tools Plus, Invisible Fences, Better Fences, Environment Rework, Expanded Paths, Pylons Fences, all of the Scenery Props Packs, the ACSE, which is the awesome Cobra Script Extender, any new species, dinosaurs, or non replaced cosmetics. Um, I'll also do a segment on how to do replacement dinosaur species as well and if you so choose at the end um, the expanded dinosaur behavior mod which is recommended by me it is extremely good um, but it is it is optional all of these are optional um, bearing in mind it is modular as well so if you don't want a certain one you can just choose to skip that step there will be timestamps in the video but these are my highly recommended mods that i use day in day out when i'm doing my recordings for the game and everything like that i deem all of these to be essential okay i'm just saying that right now so straight away not all of these will require dlc um, most of them will but i will state for each one what dlc they require um, but i will recommend right away to have all dlc simple as that I have all the dlc um, not all of them require the dlc but between them all it is recommended to have all the dlc when doing these mods also back up your save files before we begin um, because any island save files done before these mods if you try and load them with the mods there will be an absolute mess if you load them up especially with expanded packs so yeah just bear that in mind back up your saves or don't use your old saves simple as that you know that's that's the best way i can put that um i'll also do a little bit about how to um, install the wii mod mod menu it's got a load of useful tools on there but you don't need to actually manipulate your game files um for that so i'll just do a little bit at the end on how to install that and um i'll show you at the end with all the mods installed it all working and the features that you get so if that sounds fair enough let's get into the video um yeah i hope you enjoy Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to find your game install location. Um, on Steam, that's fairly easy. You just right-click the game in your um, game list, Jurassic World Evolution, and browse local files, and it'll bring you to a folder that looks like this. Um, on Epic Games, I don't think it has that function to browse local files, but you just find where your game is installed, and it'll bring you to a folder like this. Ignore the Steam APIs and everything on the epic version you'll have shipping dlls we don't need to manipulate them in any way so that's all good the three folders that we're going to be doing today is islands movies win 64 we don't need movies but leave it there as it is all the other mods affect to the other folders okay so that's it that's what it should look like as default i am doing this on a fresh install um, so just to show you in OVL data, that's how your OVL data folder should look within Win64 without any mods installed. Okay, okay, let's do let's do this then. Okay, so expanded islands is the first one. Um, I would recommend installing all of the mods in this order because certain ones overwrite other things, and this is the order that you want to install them in. Okay, so first up, go to this link uh, in the description down below, um, and it will be on the files tab. And it's this top one that you want. Do manual download. We're not using the mod manager for this. And I don't have premium Nexus. So I'm going to hit slow download. This is the largest download to get out of the way. So this will take roughly um, 10, 11 minutes if you haven't got premium Nexus. So um, yeah, I'm going to get back to you in a minute when that's downloaded. Okay. So I'm back. The file has downloaded. So go to your downloads tab. Click the expanded islands that's been downloaded and inside you've got the islands and OVL data folder so make sure you follow these steps carefully because people have had issues with this um, what you want to do is bring up your game install folder the one where you can see the islands folder so first of all grab the islands folder from the uh, expanded islands zip and just drag it over to here wait for that to unpack which should take a few seconds depending on what um, rig you're using um, like I say this is the largest one and it will come up with this option to replace the files in the destination okay 
So I didn't drop islands into the islands folder. I dropped it into just this blank space to replace. Okay. Next up, you want to go into Win64 and you see this OVL data folder. You want to do the exact same thing. So drop this into here. Make sure you're following the steps carefully um, as I know people have had issues with this. So just um, making sure that you, you get this right, okay? And you'll know you've done it right because you get this replace the files in the destination um, option, okay? So choose yes. Awesome stuff. That's Expanded Island installed. It's as simple as that. The main bit of time for that is just waiting for the download to come in. So that one is now done. On to the next step then is Ultimate Mixed Errors. And I'm very thankful that I've got all of these tabs set up. Yeah, so um, go over to the Files tab. Um, all of these are linked down below, remember. And you want the Ultimate Mixed Errors, the main mod file. Yeah, that's simple as that. Top one, Manual Download. Yeah, and it says here you will need the return to Jurassic Park DLC, of course, um, for Ultimate Mixed Errors. Yeah, I will give a description at the end as to what each of these mods does, okay? But for now, we're just installing them. Okay, so just wait for that to come in. Like I say, these are fairly quick. Um, they are much smaller um, files. So just wait for that to come in. Just what, 10, 10 more seconds? Easy peasy. Yep, okie dokie nearly there and um, just make sure I've got my game install folder open there it's all good open file then so in here you have a folder called JPEO Lite inside is a folder called OVL data and inside it should look like that you don't need to worry about that just showing you what it should look like so go over to your game install location um, obviously we've got the Win64 most of what we're doing from now on will be within Win64 and inside this OVL data folder. So within the OVL data, within the zip, you've got all of these files. Make sure that you grab them all, like so, all of them, remember, and drop them into your OVL data folder, like so, and choose replace the files in the destination. Yep, with this version of Ultimate Mix there is it does come packaged with the Enhanced Terrain Tools Plus. So if you're wondering, why aren't I shown how to install Terrain Tools? This is the reason why, because it comes packaged um, with Ultimate Mix there is it's the best version of it, the Enhanced Terrain Tools Plus, the best version. Okay, so that's Ultimate Mix there is installed and Enhanced Terrain Tools Plus. Beautiful. Okay, so next up, we want Environment Rework. This is another fairly large mod. All the rest should be fairly instantaneous, but with this, um, you want the main file for this, not the standalone. You, you want the main file for this. Environment Rework version 2.2 as seen in the video. So hit this. Uh, 158 um, megabytes. So let's um, hit download on that. And um, just wait for that to come in. And I'll get back to you when that is done. Okay then, so the Environment Rework version 2.2 mod is in. I'm going to open that zip file right there. Um, ignore all of these, we'll get back to them um, later, how to do these. But for now what we want is the terrain retextures in there. So terrain retextures within the environment rework zip that we downloaded. Um, and inside is OVL data. Okay, that's all, all we need to look at for now. Let me go up one step. So inside your OVL data folder, as you can see, um, we've got this content zero folder. Make sure you're matching these up right. So in your OVL data install location, um, you should see content zero. All you need to do is drag this content zero over to OVL data and just wait for that to do and replace the files in the destination once again. Okay, so Environment Rework is now installed. What that does is it changes up the textures, makes them a bit more detailed, a bit more um, lifelike as well. It's not so vivid, a bit more, you know, downplay, whatever, but there will be the showcase at the end for that. Okie dokie, so up next then will be Invisible Fences. I don't think I've actually got the link there, so we'll get back to you when I've got the link. Okay then, so I found the link. This is linked down below right here. Go over to files and it is this walls file that you require so let's grab this what this mod does is it gives you the mr trudon mr troodon better fences 
which look incredible, merged with Invisible Fence. Um, you'll find out why you need Invisible Fence later. Trust me on this, you will definitely want this down the line. Um, I have already just downloaded this um, just ahead of time while I was looking for the link, but hit manual download, um, slow download, and you know how it goes. It'll take a few seconds to come in, but I do already have this. So what you need to do is open up the wall zip once it's downloaded. And then go into your content zero folder, which is inside OVL data. Should be quite familiar with this now. Okay, so um, let me just go back a few. So the walls, inside the walls, um, 916, this is the Mr. Trode on Better Fence zip. Inside your content zero folder, you want to go to environment, walls, and it's this walls OVL that you want to get to, yeah? So drop this in to that folder and replace. There we go. Now you've got Mr. Troodon's Better Fences and Invisible Fence already pre-installed into that mod. Lovely stuff. So um, yeah, that's um, that's brilliant the way that's worked out. Okay, so next up we have the Expanded Paths, Pylons and Fences. Now I will let you know real quick that I have come back to re-do um, this section. So if there is extra folders in OVL data, just ignore them for now. Um, I'm just coming back to do this section, okay? So for this you want to download this, Expanded Paths, Pylons, Fences and uh, wait for that to come in. It's 52k so it should be near instantaneous. Um, just wait for that to come in and that is done. So what you want to do is open up that folder and inside you'll see EPPF. Now a lot of people have had this issue where they've not opened the folder. So what you need to do is open this folder, go into OVL data and then it's this other EPPF folder. So I'll just repeat them steps real quick for you. When you open this zip, there's EPPF. Open it up, inside is OVL data and then there's the other EPPF folder right there. Now go into OVL data and drop that in. There we go. So that's part one of Expanded Paths, Pylons, Fences. And for the extra features which are part of the experimental version, you'll want this second download, which is there. So manual download that, and that's 22K. So once that download count's finished, um, basically it'll come in instantaneously. Open this folder, um, just double check inside there. Look, it's the same again. So open this folder inside OVL data, then you get this other EPPF, e, um, EPP, yeah, you know, this folder, EPPF experimental, okay? Get this and drop it into OVL data alongside. So you've got these two here. Um, so going forward, um, you won't see this EPPF folder, but it should be in there, okay? Next up then, we want to install the props packs. These add numerous extra decorative items to your packs and all of them are brilliant. I'm not kidding. Um, they add so much um, variety to your packs. You know, I can't pick up these mods enough. So thank you to all the mod authors while we're on um, the topic. So what we want to do then, first of all, go back to the environment rework tab. Yep which we was on before, the link will be down below. And you want this environment rework scenery items standalone, this top option, yeah? So do manual download on that. This is another fairly hefty download. Um, they will get smaller and smaller, these downloads, as we go along, I promise, okay? So we choose slow download on that, wait for that to come in, and I'll get back to you when that is the case. Okay, so that download has come in. So let's open up the rework scenery packs. Um, and inside the zip, you'll see this environment rework props 01. So what we want to do is OVL data, simple as this. Just get that folder there and drop it into your OVL data folder. So it appears in the list. Yep, that should take a few seconds. And then you've got the environment rework props 01 folder inside OVL data. Okay, that's props pack number one. Um, there are three more of these to go. So um, next up, we want the standalone scenery pack. This adds a lot more to the game as well. So um, yeah, just we want these. Another another quite hefty download. Um, so I'm going to hit manual download on that. Um, you don't need to download, but Harley Quinn's ego is like a legend in the Jurassic World Evolution modding scene. So if you do feel like you want to donate, you know, drop a donation in there. Um, like I say, this will take a little bit of time. Um, these scenery packs will take a bit of time. After that, it's plain sailing with small downloads, okay? So 
Um, while we're there, I will just say right away, um, you've got the scenery props pack that we're downloading now. Um, there's also the Isla Sauna scenery items. All of these are in the links down below. So do the same thing with all of these. Um, go to the tabs um, that you can see, files, manual download on this. As you can see, they're quite hefty, these downloads. So it's good to get all of these out of the way. So I'm going to hit slow download on that one as well. And then there's one other after this as well. Just trying to do this in a way where it's uh, kind of a bit of a time save, you know what I mean? So, um, and then go over to prehistoric scenery as well. These are all the scenery props packs. It adds loads more stuff to the game as well. Um, so part one and part two in one package there. And choose manual download as well. Yeah, so choose slow on that. And um, wait for it to come in. You might want to do these one by one. Um, because the downloads do just bottleneck if you try and do it like that. Um, but it's up to you. Make sure you downloaded these three, um, which will take maybe 20 minutes on slow, something like that. Um, and I'll get back to you when they're in. I can't help you speed that up unless you go premium on Nexus. So, yeah, I'll get back to you when they're in. Yeah, I'm just going to chip in real quick if you... Um, if you've got them all queued up on the downloads, once one finishes, the the next one will speed up, and then the next one will speed up. So it does it does pay to um, just get them queued up like so. Okay. Okay. So after waiting for what seemed like a while, we now have the um, standalone scenery pack one, the Isla Sauna scenery items, and the prehistoric scenery that have all now downloaded. Okay. So we'll start with the first one, the standalone scenery mod. Um, and inside that, you have this Lego scenery um, folder. You've got your OVL data still open, hopefully. If not, come back to this folder. And all you need to do is drop that Lego scenery folder into there. Wait for that to unpack. Um, all three of these that we've just downloaded are exactly the same from what I can remember. But we'll go through them and I'll show these on the video anyway. So Isla Sauna uh, scenery items. I'm just checking inside the folders there. Back to OVL data and drop that in and wait for that to unpack and in the meantime we'll open up the prehistoric foliage part two um, and in this there is two folders that you want so we'll open up uh, OVL data like so and get both of these folders and drop them into OVL data and um, they will take once again a few seconds um, but obviously in the folder in the background you should now have from them scenery um, items you should have the uh, environment rework props, the Lego scenery, the sauna props, and the um, Trizen props. Uh, that's the Triassic scenery props right there. So that is awesome once again. We are flying along now um, and it's going very, very well. Okay, I'm just checking in these uh, folders right here. Okay, so we're doing very, very well. That's all four of the scenery packs installed. Lovely stuff. Okay, so on to the next step. So next up then we have the ACSE, which is the Awesome Cobra script extender, and we want version 1.1. It's the latest version. What this does is it allows you to um, research the new species dinosaurs and the um, non-replaced cosmetics and everything of the new species dinosaurs. Um, in campaign mode but a lot of them do require it even to use in sandbox or the recommend to use it in sandbox so with the link down below go to get this um, ACSE 1.1 um, on this page and I believe I did just click that to download it yes I did this is a very easy install open up the ACSE folder that we've just downloaded from that page um, I'm just checking inside the folder. I do double check just to make sure. Um, and it is just this ACSE folder that drops into your um, OVL data folder. Nice and simple. That is done. Okay. ACSE installed. It's as simple as that. Just bear in mind you will need the Secrets of Dr. Wu and Clear Sanctuary DLC to use that. It is essential. If you haven't got them, your game will crash. Yeah, a lot of people have had issues with that. So bear that in mind, okay? Next up then I'm going to show you how to install any new species dinosaur or any non-replaced cosmetics and a brilliant place to start is the Seismosaurus but before we do that um, there is a link down below to my own dinosaur new species list. Um, it says at the top correct as of 14th of May. It has been updated several times since then. I just keep forgetting to update the date on it. This is um, every new species 
ever released. This is written by me, documented by me um, extensively. Okay, so any new species that ever released will be on this list. Bearing in mind for varying reasons that I'm not going to go into in this guide video, some mod authors are removing their mods from the website. So if you can't find them, please let me know in the comments down below so I can update the list that they're no longer available. Um, but yeah, other than that, all you'd need to do is um, download this text file. It's just literally um, a notepad file and um, open that up. And inside here, you can see every new species dinosaur ever released with the links. OK, so just for example, if I use control and F on this notepad um, and I look for, say, say I want, um, I don't know, a Torvosaurus. Yeah, uh, I'll just put Torvo. It'll just pick out the key thing. Find next. There we go, there's one Torvosaurus. You can keep looking through and whatnot. Say I want um, an E750, for example, you can do find next, um, or you can do direction up or down as well. There isn't one up, so I know there's two E750s, and seven, uh, second one there, okay. I'm falling over myself a little bit. Um, the reason why I've told you to do that is because some dinosaurs are within packs. So as you can see here, um, the second E750 is within Mr. Truodon's mod pack. Some dinosaurs were within packs. So if you were to search these dinosaur names, they wouldn't actually appear on the Nexus. You'd have to search for the pack. But with this, it allows you to literally just, um, say, grab the link, for example, um, do copy, and then go to uh, a new tab, paste it in, and... Boom, there you go. You've got yourself the link with the downloads and all that lot. So I'm not going to use that because I do have a separate link o open for all of this. Um, yeah, so let's get back to this Seismosaurus. Okay, I'm just getting you getting you through that, so that's where to find out new species. Remember, I have done full showcases and I cover all the new species as short videos on within the day of release as well. So yeah, just letting you know that. Um, so what we'll do is then we'll do the manual download on this. This is a good example. Not all new species are this complicated to install. There is kind of two sections to this. One necessary, one optional. Okay, so I'm going to go through them steps here just so you know what you're doing in that instance. Okay, so within this LA, LAS03 folder, within this you've got the LAS03 Seismosaurus. Now, within this folder you can see this folder layout if you see that that's the folder that you want to put into ovl data so within ovl data you can see the las3 seismo bearing in mind the will come with readmes if there is complicated instructions but it's not too complicated as long as you follow these steps okay this is just an example of how to install a new species that has custom audio not all of them will require this. Most of them won't, should I say. So just get this LASO3 Seismo folder, drop it into OVL data. Okay, I have already dropped that in because I did mess up on the recording. So it is kind of like a re-record of this section, but it's all good. Now, if you wanted the custom audio for this, you go into custom audio, like so. Um, okay, so you have to find where the dinosaur is that could be in any one of these content or content pdlc packs i know that the diplodocus is in content zero so what we want to do is we want to go to dinosaurs find the diplodocus right there okay and drop this ovl into there and replace and then basically go back to content zero audio and then get these two audio files here these two orcs files and drop them into there and replace as well. So now you have the Seismosaurus with the custom audio. Bearing in mind it will replace the normal Diplodocus audio doing it that way. Okay, I'm just going a little bit in depth to make sure you know what you're doing because some of the um, new species do have other little bits attached to them. So I'm making sure you're equipped in that instance to deal with it. Okay, so that's good. Another one of my favorites is the Dracoden Titan. Um, obviously, I have just downloaded that. I am doing a quick re-record of this section. Um, there are a couple of bits I wasn't happy with. Um, just do the manual download on that. I'm not going to re-download this because I still do have the Dracoden Titan right there. Um, and once again, the hybrid pack C1 is already in my folder. Um, all you do is with this, it's a, it's a simple one. These are one of the simple ones. Obviously, you've got your Dracoden Titan zip. Inside there, you've got hybrid pack C1. Now, I would recommend always doing this as a habit. Just open the folder, 
for the new species make sure it's got these four folders and these okay so it looks like this okay and then just drop that one file into OVL data like so easy peasy okay nice and simple and I've chose replace you won't need to replace it's just because I've redone this section that's all um, I was going to do digital ducks mod pack it's brilliant there's tons of great new species mod packs out there but I am going to do Mr. Troodon's mod pack this one was like 60 megs so it took a little bit of time to download I've not installed this on my game yet so uh, Mr. Troodon's mod pack is a brilliant example because within this there is new cosmetics and there is new species as well in the same in the same folder so i'm just going to show you how to deal with that just to be nice and thorough okay so inside here um i don't actually have it downloaded <laughs> which is fine um your download has started well where is it yes there it is it's the initial release that's the that's the one for mr troodon's mod pack now inside this you can see the mr troodon 02 and mr troodon 03 all you need to do in this instance, um, this is actually pre-packaged with the new cosmetics and new dinosaurs. Just make sure when you download one of these packs that if there is multiple folders, just check inside each one. Make sure that they all look like they've got other folders inside and then you just get these and drop them in. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I'm making this as straightforward as possible. But there is numerous different um, little variables that you just need to be careful of when installing new species. Okay, especially ones in packs and ones with other little bits of audio and things attached to them. I'm just making sure that you've that you've got it right. Do you know what I mean? I want to make sure that we're doing this properly. Okay. So that's how you install new species. Um, that pack did in, involve um, some new skins for the Carnotaurus as well. But they're bundled with it. Okay, so what we're going to do next is um, we're going to do new cosmetics. I'm going to show you how to do them nice and quick. Um, I did have a tab open. Yep, there it is for the Jurassic World Level 40 Indominus new skin. Bearing in mind this list that we have open here, I am going to eventually update that with all of the available new cosmetics as well. So bear that in mind. It's not updated for that yet, but there is many and it will take a long time to update. So I will get on that as soon as possible. Until then, um, check my short videos or anything like that, and I'll I'll put a link to a few of my favourites in there as well. Okay, so we've got the Jurassic World level 40 Indominus. Um, new skin, yeah, doesn't replace anything. Um, go to files there. And a, a good indication of whether it's going to replace or whether it's a new one, they don't necessarily new, um, say... But if they're after 2021, there's a good chance it's non-replace. If it's before 2000, if it's 2020 or before, it's definitely going to replace because this is a new method. Okay. So in there, level 40 Indominus new skin. We'll do a manual download on that. All this will do is it'll add the level 40 Indominus skin to the game within the co um, cosmetics section of the genetics tab of the hatchery menu. But it won't replace any existing skins which is beautiful. Um, this only adds one skin. Some packs add six, some packs add 12. Um, there's one pack for Raptors, which adds about 24 skins or something like that. I'm not going to go into all of them. I'm just making sure that you see how to do this, okay? So we've got the level 40 Indominus new skin uh, zip file there. Always just double check. If it looks like that, you're pretty much good to go. Just drop that in to OVL data, like so. There it is. Level 40 in Domino, right there. Very, very nice. So that's just a quick example of how to install new species and non-replace cosmetics. And obviously, I will double-check these in the hatchery when we do the, the little showcase at the end. Okay, so that's all good right there. Now, next up then, we will do replacement species. Now, I don't know whether anyone's going to be too interested in doing that because most of the um, dinosaurs that people want are new species, but there are some brilliant um, replacement species. So we will do that. Okay, um, we'll have a look. Um, replacement. Um, I'm just having a look um, for a good one. I will get back to you when I've found one, okay? Okay, so I've found a viable um replacement species there are tons of these um the easiest way to tell is um 
in the description it will say replaces something with something. So this will replace the vanilla Triceratops with the JFD Triceratops. So I'm just going to show you how to do this real quick. Um, you don't need to worry about this um, at all really. That just replaces icons and whatnot. So I'll just download the main um, Triceratops thing right there. Which should come in within just a few seconds. Obviously slow as hell on the nexus when you when you're not a premium member but you know what i mean <laughs> um that's all good so that is now downloaded now to install a replacement species um go into ovl data you will need to find where the dinosaur actually is as well so we'll go to i know that the triceratops is one of the base game dinosaurs so it'll be in content zero for example if a, if i wanted to replace um say um something with a baryonyx indoraptor cenoceratops you'd have to find them specifically within the thing yeah and find where they are but i know that the triceratops is in um, content zero but you'd have to look through um, each one if you didn't know where there was and just find where they are according to what dlc pack that they're in if that makes any sense i hope it does so within content zero we go to the dinosaurs folder then down to triceratops and then basically you can see these two OVL and OVS files here, L1 files, whatever. And then just copy them across and replace. Awesome. So now my vanilla Triceratops is replaced with the JFD Triceratops process, which is there. And um, I will showcase that when the time comes. Okay. And last but not least um, for the actual mainline mods that we're going to be installing in this this is one that i'd highly recommend it's not necessarily essential but i do use this every time i load up the game because it's in the install um, location and um, yeah i'd highly recommend this it really does change things up dinosaurs that should be omnivores are now omnivores which means you can eat different um, plants and meats there's different dominance displays uh different stress behaviors there's also intelligent behaviors things like that. i can't sing this mod's praises enough now the mod offer for this is kyodenic has been kind enough to pre-inject a version which works alongside this guide um, i've not talked to him beforehand to sort that out but uh, yeah it's been done already that's the uh, the kind of modder he is he kind of sees these things that need to happen before they actually um the prop before the problems arise shall i say so without me rambling on too much the version that we want to work alongside with the mods we've just installed um, if you scroll the list in files and find the pre-injected ume version that's the ultimate mixed errors version and that is the ultimate mixed errors 1.71 pre-injected version of the mod bearing in mind the mixed errors we installed was 1.71 requires acse yep says install instructions in readme but um I'm showing you how to install this, so we won't need that readme. So we'll hit um, download now, the manual uh, slow download, whatever, and just wait for that to come in. It's 15 meg, so take, what, 10 seconds, something like that, and open up this folder. So back to OVL data, as we can see, and we have this one folder called Expanded Behavior UME. Okay, just open that up, and inside here you have these two folders. All you need to do is get both of them, and drop them into OVL data. Replace the main OVL, so replace the file in the destination, and ta-da, we also now have the dinosaur behaviors installed. Lovely stuff. So the final one to install, we're nearly at the end of this now, uh, thank you for sticking with it so long if you made it this far, is the WeMod mod menu. Now I'm not gonna show you how to download and install this, it's really straightforward, download for Windows, you just register with it. I've already registered. I'm not unregistering and reinstalling it all because I've got it all set up already. But it's a program that's not like modifying anything. It just adds a load of stuff to um, the thing. So once you've got that installed, essentially um, you can pick the Epic or Steam version. Um, I have both, um, funnily enough. But essentially what I'd recommend you do is with all of these options, um, change each one of these, click them, and set them all to something really simple like numpad zero, a key that's not used in the game, and do the same if you know with w whichever one. So when you press a button, it'll just activate all of these. What this mod menu does is it gives you instant hatch with all the options on. You'll have instant hatch, um, no power needed, no paths needed, 
um, in campaign or sandbox, but specifically for sandbox, it's really, really useful. So that's why I use this, okay? So now we've got all of that installed, it is time for the showcase part of the video. Um, yeah, if you've made it this far, like I say, a lot of time and effort's gone into this video already, so please hit the like button, it really does help. Um, promote the video and like I said at the start with the annotations make sure that you um, load your game at each step just to make sure that you've got the mod installed correctly so at least if um, it comes to a point where the game crashes when you load it up or something like that and then you want to go to the comments and ask for help at least you'll know which step has kind of made your game not load and I can maybe help you further in the comments um, if you've gone through every single step and then there's something wrong there's not really much I can do to help. It could have been any of the steps that you got wrong. Completely start fresh again. Try again and load at each step um, so you know where you've had the issue. Okay. Um, okay, let's load the game up then. Um, with the Wii Mod menu, you'd pick which version of the game you're using. I'm using Steam. So I'm going to launch the game in a second using this play button. And um, I'll get back to you when the game has loaded up. And I'll just show you all of the lovely features you get with these mods, okay? Lovely. Catch you in a second. Okay, so I've just loaded up the game with the mods installed using the Wii Mod menu. Bear in mind, you don't need to use the Wii Mod cheat menu to use the mods that you've installed in the game. Um, only to activate the cheats and everything like that. So I'm going to hit the hotkey for that. Load an existing sandbox pack. Remember, if you want all of the mixed era's features... Um, remember to create a sandbox in Jurassic Park era and then you have all of the Jurassic World features and buildings in your Jurassic Park era sandbox park. Yeah, so just bear that in mind that if you want all the mixed areas to work properly, load up a Jurassic Park era sandbox park. This is my test park. Um, this is where a lot of testing goes on and videos get made here. So you're getting a little glimpse behind the scenes. Straight away you can see expanded uh, islands is installed um, bear in mind this is not a mod showcase this is just showing you a proof that each of the mods are installed so next up we've got ultimate mixed areas easiest way to test um, just have a quick look do you have jurassic park buildings and jurassic world buildings and the answer to that is yes also the um, mixed areas as well lets you place items on top of each other there's a load of other features i've done a separate video on that so yeah that's all done so that is installed fine next up is the enhanced terrain tools plus and the easiest way to test this is to set the intensity on maximum on the terrain brushes specifically trees and um, just test and see if they place instantly if the answer is yes then enhanced terrain tools plus is installed good out Next up is um, better fences and invisible fence. Uh, I've accidentally hit the wrong tab there. So we go to the fences uh, menu and as you can see, we have the invisible fence. As you may know, that's needed for stopping dinosaurs running up cliffs. And also it is nice just to have inv invisible fences in certain instances. In here then we've got the light steel, which is like a petting zoo fence. That's part of the better fences pack. And also the big chunky um, electrified concrete wall. So we know that invisible fence and better fences is installed. Environment rework speaks for itself. You can clearly see the dirt and grass looks much better, much more detailed. Same with the sand, looks very coarse. Very, very nice. Next up then, expanded past pylons fences. Um, in this list, obviously, you've got all these extra paths and whatnot. Yep, it's all done. Yep. Um, also, within the uh, power tab, um, there is the extra options as well, I think, for pylons. Let's go kind of like expanded past pylons, fences, things like that. Yep, all good. So that's all done there. Next up, all props packs. That's what's on my list. So as you can see, we've got all the extra props and everything. And there is literally tons of these. One of my favourites is the abandoned Ingen Jeep. But never mind, just placing it to show it works. But you can see there's so many more rocks, features, items that have been added with M packs. Good out. Oh, that's another one down. Um, next up then we've got the new species dinosaurs that we did. Um, so let's launch, I don't know. What what did we have? We had the Dracodent Titan. So we'll launch one of them. Uh, we had the uh, Seismosaurus. There's a few others as well. Um, the Scorpius Rex, yeah, they're all there. Seismosaurus, let's launch one of them. 
And um, I don't know, it's good for a Scorpius, just launch one of them. Just bear in mind, look, um, do you know what I mean? There is the extra skins and everything for them. All installed fine. So these are, in, um, what is it, launching from the hatchery just fine. Good out. So over here then, while we've got a free spot, um, remember we added the um, level 40 skin to the Indominus. So in this list, look, we've got the normal skins, but then there's the extra one, genetically enhanced Indominus. Boom, there we go. One of my favourite non-replaced skins. Yep, there we go. And it's not replaced any of its existing skins. Lovely stuff. Like I say, the separate showcases for these. <laughs> Don't want to get too bogged down with these. Uh, next up then is the replacement Triceratops. Um, and bearing in mind, it was for the vanilla Triceratops, not the 93 pattern one. So we'll launch that quick just to show that that's working. Yep. Let's have a quick look. And it is the replacement Triceratops. Lovely. Um, also, the expanded dinosaur behavior. An easy way to test is... When the dinosaurs come out of the hatchery, will they run to the nearest food or water source? Um, sometimes they do, but it severely reduces the chance of that happening. Look, it's nice and chill. So unless the dinosaur's got low needs in the red, then it won't run to anything. Um, and also they have the other dominance displays and everything like that. So dinosaur behaviors is installed as well. That is pretty much everything on the list. Bearing in mind with the ACSE, that is in campaign mode. Any of these new species don't need the ACSE to um, work in sandbox um, for the most part or to be unlocked in sandbox even. They'll just be ready in sandbox. But in campaign, you will need the ACSE to unlock them. There is a bug with the ACSE where you get overlapping icons. Um, all you need to do with that is go out of that menu over to another one then back to the menu you want and then the icons won't be overlapping yes so all the mods are now installed let me just load up another pack really quick which you might not have seen for a while just very very quickly i won't take up too much of your time so yeah this is um what is possible with the mods i know that the uh the frame rate's tanking a little bit with the screen record on for this. Um, I am going to be releasing this pack. This was built over a 14-part live stream series. Um, this, pack, this pack is called Isla Quadrado. But it just shows you what is actually possible with these mod um, tools and everything. This will eventually release. The reason why this hasn't released so far is because I've been waiting to get this guide video on the go. So I'm just showing you that with this guide video, with the mods installed that I've showed you, that this pack is fully usable, yeah? Um, and I'll do a separate video about this pack once it releases. I don't want to go into it too much, but just to show you that this works fine with the mods that we've got installed, okay? So, lovely stuff. I just want to say thank you to everybody for watching. Um, I've had a lot of fun making this. A few frustrations, but a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, if you know anybody who's struggling to mod the game, this is going to be probably the best guide for them. Hopefully... Um, yeah, it's the definitive guide of all the best mods to get all this sort of stuff running in your game, you know, without any issues or anything like that. So thank you all for watching. I've already done me one pair video, but, you know, feel free to, you know, <laughs> go down below to that red button. Never mind. All the best. I hope you have a great day, everybody, and I'll um, catch you all again real soon. Okay. Bye, everybody. Goodbye.